Shut it down. 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 to go to the very same country 
which they tell Danish people is too dangerous to travel to. That is discrimination. That is racism. End of story. A human being fleeing war, conflict, imprisonment, forced army enrollment, and seeking safety on the harbor on harbors and borders of Denmark is not a criminal. Now, the dangerous criminals in Denmark, in Denmark's high, high security prisons, they get to cook their own food, they visit their families on weekend breaks, they play instruments, musical instruments in a band, they have a gym exercise room. Most importantly, they know exactly which date they will be released from prison. So why treat other humans worse than the worst criminals in Denmark? That is racism. That is xenophobia. Now I'm asking you, which one of you children, which one of you, which one of us would travel alone or with our children to Congo? Which one of us would travel alone or with our children to Mogadishu, Somalia? Which one of us would invite our family on the, to ski in the extremely beautiful mountains of Afghanistan? Danish deportation officials, they refuse to leave their plane, the plane in, in, in Kabul. They refuse to leave the airplane in Kinshasa. They refuse to leave the airplane in Mogadishu while they cowardly force children outside the safety of that very same plane. So what went so horribly wrong in this to get Denmark to where it is? It's the ideology. It started in the 90s. Well, it worsened in the 90s. It, came, it, it got, went terrible in the 90s. When Pierre Gascoigne started xenophobic, Islamophobic, racist rhetoric and propaganda while the media flocked around her like a movie star. So after some time, other major parties followed in competition. It was a race to the pits of morality. She was speaking horrible propaganda that has not been said out loud since the 30s and 40s among decent human beings in Denmark. I must repeat Paul Europe's quote, it will never ever be clean. No, <laughs> I'll change the English. Dance Volker Petit, they play Aldri, Nonsid, Sture. Back in the 30s and the 40s, it took about 10, 15 years for the National Socialists to win elections before the, the public were ready and right to applaud, accept, live with, or simply ignore that non-criminal humans, neighbors, colleagues, classmates were driven off to prison camps. Today in Denmark, the situation is not very different. The hate propaganda has been so effective that the public not only accept the deportation prisons, but victim blame fellow human beings seeking refuge, claiming it is their own choice. Claiming that it is their own fault that Denmark forcefully throws men, women, children in open and closed prisons. And that's exactly what they are, prisons. Do not dare call them travel centers Urreiser Center, departure centers, as if they were SAS business class lounge. <laughs> that is shameful propaganda with a goal to shut up and quieten the conscience of the public and allowing fellow humans to be put in what is clearly a prison. And actually, I will get, I would like to call it a concentration camp. Yeah. Because they are non criminal. A prison that is wrong, wrong, wrong in so many ways. Nelson Mandela said, no one truly knows a nation until you've been inside its prisons. In Denmark, we 
we now have a prison with non-criminals based on where people come from. So what does that tell you about Denmark? So it is not, isn't it interesting that Denmark managed without these prisons perfectly well. I'm, I, I lived in an asylum center for two years. A week before people were deported, they were picked up just long enough for them to buy a ticket. So how come it is necessary now if it was not necessary then? What has changed? Are you angry? Are you? Because yes, you need to be angry. I love this country so very, very much. So I need Denmark to be on the right side of history. I need Denmark to keep up its international reputation for upholding human rights. This good reputation is disappearing very, very fast with headliners in New York Times, headliners in Italian papers, headliners in, in Korean papers, instigated by Stoiber and carried on by this government with inhumane policies. 30 years ago, before the population was poisoned with hateful propaganda, Denmark was proudly, together with Norway, in the forefront of fighting racism and arranging the boycotts that helped lead to the end of, of apartheid in South Africa and negotiating peace treaties all around the world. Today, whenever the US beckons, Denmark sends our young men to die in wars for profit. Denmark then steals their oil and minerals. Denmark profits from the arms that bomb these very people's homes, villages, towns, and cities. Denmark then has the audacity to imprison the refugees, the very same refugees, when they seek protection at our borders and, and our shores. Denmark kidnaps them at the border, pulls them off trains when they are just actually want to pass and go to Sweden. Denmark shamelessly throws them in old abandoned prisons declared unfit for the worst of Danish criminals. Denmark then blames parents forced to make a choice between the bums we sold for profit and Shell's mark, remove their fathers, put them in Ellebeck, then they have the audacity to blame these same people with lies to the public that it was their choice. Denmark is now Dan's Volkerpartie's bitch. <laughs> with the two major parties and Social Democrats being no different. Venstre and Social Democrat, they perfectly agree on this line doing exactly what they are told and dictated by their new master. In a democracy, we all have an obligation to struggle to get Denmark back into humane, anti-racist hands. Please, this is not the time to cower, nor is it the time to fear. We need to speak truth to power. We are all aware of Kurdish sex slaves that are being taken by ISIS in Iraq. We are, we, are, we are all aware of the violent conflict in Eastern Congo. None of us can deny the brutal regime in Iran. We all know, are fully aware that African neo-colonialized dictators exist and punish activists like you and me for speaking up. We all are aware that many countries jail and kill LGBTQIA. Let's stop playing ignorant. Let's stop victim blaming the imprisoned for doing exactly what 
each and every person, each and every one of us would do in a conflict, flee and escape to save our lives. Why is this our responsibility? Why is it yours? Why, why is it everybody's responsibility? Because we all benefit. We all benefit from the profits of war. Denmark wants oil from Iraq, Kurdistan, but they don't want the refugees. Denmark wants Congolese minerals, but they don't want the refugees. Denmark wants Afghan arm deals, but do not want the refugees. <coughs> Denmark is silent about the illegal occupation of Palestine, <coughs> but do not want the refugees. Denmark is silent about Syrian gas pipe pipelines for profit, but does not want the refugees. Denmark wants Sudanese and Nigerian oil, but they do not want the refugees. Say it loud and say it clear. Refugees are welcome here! Say it loud and say it clear! Refugees are welcome here! Say it loud and say it clear! Refugees are welcome here! From the river to the sea! 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 Denmark is for you and me! Denmark is for you and me! From the river to the sea! From the river to the sea! Denmark is for you and me! Denmark is for you and me! Welcome refugees! Welcome refugees! Welcome refugees! Say it loud and say it clear! 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 Refugees are welcome here! Refugees are welcome here! Refugees are welcome here! Refugees are welcome here! From the river to the sea! From the river to the sea! Denmark is for you and me! Denmark is for you and me! From the river to the sea, Denmark is for you and me. Denmark is for you and me. Welcome refugees. 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 Welcome refugees! Welcome refugees! Welcome refugees! No hate, no fear! Refugees are welcome here! 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 No hate, no fear! Refugees are welcome here. No hate, no fear. 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 Refugees are welcome here. No fear. Refugees are welcome here. No fear. Refugees are welcome here. I just had to remember this one. No hate, no bigotry. Stop white supremacy. Mm, no hate, no bigotry. Stop white supremacy. 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 No hate. No bigotry, stop white supremacy. No hate. No bigotry, stop white supremacy. No hate. No bigotry, stop white supremacy. Asu, te ala. Hea anu. 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 Asu, te ala.
Say it loud, say it clear, refugees are welcome here. Say it loud, say it clear, refugees are welcome here. Say it loud, say it loud, say it clear, refugees are welcome here. Say it loud, say it clear, refugees are welcome here.